Welcome to Dave's Anabolic Odyssey. Today, we're talking gyno, guys. I've got gyno. Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. But not to worry. Shit is not too bad. And my dog is coming over to play. Come on, Kutch. Yeah, this way. Come on, come on. So basically, um, yeah, <laughs> it's a... Um, <clears throat> the symptoms aren't too bad. The... Itchiness has gone, the sensitivity has gone, the puffiness has gone. So I've actually done something incredibly stupid in order to get back a little bit of the symptoms so I can test out this new treatment to see if it works. So um, everyone's heard of Novidex or uh, Tamoxifen and everybody's heard of Arimidex and all the ar aromatase inhibitors, the uh, Letrozole, the Aromacin, never used those two. I've only used Arimidex. But anyway, so I've tried Arimidex and Novidex in order to treat the gyno. And I've also reduced my um, testosterone from 350 a week to 250 a week. And um, I'm not using any aromatase inhibitors or anything at the moment. But I've still got these hard lumps behind my nipples, right? And, um, you know, if I do, and they're a bit puffy, they're a little bit puffy. And um, yeah, sometimes they do get sensitive. And so uh, I wanna try out a new treatment, which is said to have um, a better side effect profile and be more effective than tamoxifen for shrinking down the gyno. I don't think it's gonna completely get rid of it, but I think we can shrink it down pretty good here. So what I've done is um, the treatment is raloxifene. Um, or raloxifen, I don't know how it's pronounced. Anyway, the treatment is raloxifene. And uh, I tried to get some. Like most places that sell steroids, they don't actually sell raloxifene. They sell tamoxifen and all the other serms, selective estrogen receptor modulators. And the one place that I found that did sell them, Swiss Chems, um, they were out of stock. And, you know, I was kind of thinking to myself, how am I going to treat this? I want to do it before it gets like really fibrous and ingrained. Um, how am I going to do it? And I heard that the raloxifene is better than tamoxifen. And so I really wanted to use it. I'm not, I don't want to just get surgery straight away. That seems like overkill. So I just went straight to the source, innit? I'm thinking like, you know what? Um, actually, what, what started it off is I watched uh, Kai's Formula Secrets. I watched his, uh, I watched his webinar and, um, you know, he's all into these raw powders, raw steroid powders that you cook up yourself and all the raw orals and everything. And it got me thinking, hey, like maybe I can just get some raw powder and like dose it out and use it as I want. So basically, that's what I've done. I've contacted um, a supplier in China and uh, I've purchased 50 grams of uh, raloxifene off them. And um, it's a bit of a stupid thing to do because there's no third party testing for purity and that type of stuff. It could have something completely different in it. Um, or it could be contaminated with something or, you know, it could just be like, just something completely different who knows who knows like so it is a bit of a stupid thing to do but I sometimes do stupid things so yeah you can watch me and learn and see what happens um, so basically <clears throat> my thinking is as I got this powder um, like who's to say that it needs to be taken orally I use RU58841 for hair loss. Um, it binds to the androgen receptor in wherever you apply it. And you, you get it as a raw powder and you mix it with 70% ethanol, 30% propylene glycol and apply it to the scalp and rub it in. So basically, like why can't I do the same with raloxifene? Um, Derek, moreplatesmoredates.com, he's got some really useful information about uh, molecules penetrating into the skin. Basically, there's a 500 Dalton rule. Um, and I think the 500, 500, okay, 
I think that a Delton is the same as a nanograms per deciliter or something. I don't know, but basically anything underneath 500 um, Deltons can get into the skin and then have effects locally, or it can go systemic, which is what I'm not hope. I'm hoping that it, everything stays kind of more localized in its effect. And that's the only real reason for applying stuff topically instead of um, just taking it orally. Well, that's, that's a really good reason for it anyway. There might be another one, prove me wrong. <clears throat> Anywho, um, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Let me describe the process to you. I, I, I got this 50 gram bag of white powder from China and I'm like, ah, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, you know, I've just bought some like chemicals off the internet and like they've arrived in like a silver baggie, like a silver pouch that's sealed. And then you like rip that open and then you got a massive baggie with 50 grams of white powder in it. So um, I mixed it with, <clears throat> uh, I mixed 0.6 grams with six milliliters of, uh, this, seven milliliters of ethanol, about three milliliters of propylene glycol, and um, I'm gonna add some DSMO, just about one milliliter of that, um, and DSMO really helps stuff get into the system, um, you know, through the skin. It really goes into the skin and drags stuff in with it. So I'm only applying a little bit because I've done one treatment of this two days ago, without it and I didn't really notice an immediate effect which you know you do notice when you take something some tamoxifen or whatever orally so um, I'm going to apply this raloxifen uh, topically and see if it works if it doesn't I've got 50 grams of the stuff so I can take it orally hopefully it won't have as many negative side effects as the tamoxifen because I actually found the tamoxifen it fucked with my mood um, and I just don't want to do anything that ruins my mood, really. I don't think it's worth worth it just because, like, you want to feel good, isn't it? And, like, I think I'm quite sensitive to hormonal fluctuations, which probably makes me not suitable for this lifestyle. But, hey, like, I'm here now, and let's just deal the cards we dealt and play the best hand, right? So, <clears throat> yeah. Anywho... I didn't like the tamoxifen side effects and I know it's unhealthy to take it for prolonged periods of time. It's unhealthy to take it at all. It's unhealthy to take any fucking PEDs and all of these ancillaries. It's better to be like natural unless you've got a fucking imbalance and then you have to sort it out. But basically, I don't like the way it affects the mood um, and maybe it can affect sexual performance and that type of stuff as well. Like, I, I don't like low estrogen uh, side effects. They're highly unpleasant um, not as bad as uh, low DHT which I got from taking um, Propecia what's it called the, the stuff you eat to reduce 5 alpha reductase and DHT anyway that type of stuff I really didn't like that but that is for another video focused on hair loss so next I'm going to apply this I'm going to wash my body down because before you put the DSMO onto your body, you want to wash off anything which can get dragged into the skin. Um, it's not good to have like deodorant underneath the armpit. And uh, actually I want to apply it underneath the armpit because when the um, gyno was at its absolute worst, I um, was getting pain right in my armpit and all of this was getting puffy. Everything here was getting like more and more fatty. I mean, at the minute, I've got this layer of fat here. Oh, another thing is I have some calipers. So um, before we go, before we start, let's measure and see how, uh, how we're doing. Okay. So the calipers don't really measure anything tangible. I was hoping to get some uh, actual statistics out of this and see if it works, but I'll just use these for keeping a track on my body fat percentage. So next I'm going to wash, apply this concoction of 
Broloxifen. Um, about 65% uh, 65% ethanol 28% propylene glycol and what's that 7% um, DSMO and yeah I'm going to wash, apply it and give my feedback to see if there's any because I <laughs> any reduction in sensitivity. I actually did something incredibly stupid. My nipples weren't very sensitive earlier. So I have injected some, um, all that was about left, about 250 units of HCG and uh, like, what, like five mils of NPP um, and uh, milligrams. Yeah, five milligrams of NPP. And um, yeah, I'm gonna see, uh, th this increased the sensitivity, made them a bit more puffy, so I can see if there's an immediate reduction in puffiness and sensitivity. So let's do this, guys. <laughs>